Hi guys, um, I've had a couple of questions recently about um, how do free divers uh, prepare to dive when they go down? How do you how do you hold your breath longer? What what do free divers do to enable them to hold their breaths so long underwater? So I thought I'd do this um, video to explain about breathing up, which is the the modern method of um, you know preparing to do a free dive. Okay, before, before the so-called breathe up that we have now, there was something called hyperventilation, um, which is basically doing this. Um, hyperventilation is still taught today in the paddy open water scuba diving, um, scuba diving uh, course. Um, it is completely incorrect. Um, if you've ever heard about it, you might know that it decreases the amount of CO2 uh, in your body which gives you, uh, which means that you'll have the urge to breathe slightly later, um, but it does not increase the amount of oxygen in your blood. So while you have the illusion of not needing to breathe, the amount of oxygen in your bloodstream is actually the same as it, as it was before, and you might run out of oxygen while you are still at depth and pass out and die. So um, in free diving today, uh, hyperventilation is just not taught. We have the breathe up now. Okay, so what the, the breathe up uh, entails is breathing in for a certain amount of time, let's say three seconds, and breathing out for double that amount of time. Now you breathe in for however long is comfortable for you. So maybe if you breathe in for two seconds, then you exhale for four, four seconds. If you breathe in for three seconds, like myself, you exhale for six seconds. So something like like that. Okay, try to do it more relaxed. I wasn't that relaxed since I'm doing this on camera now and I'm trying to count for you guys. But try to do that as relaxed as possible. One more thing you need to add on top of that. Keep doing that. Now, you can't see my stomach in this video, but generally watch how I breathe in now. You see how my chest and my whole shoulders move up, my whole chest inflates? Um, when you're breathing up, ideally, you, you don't breathe like this. Put your hand, you can't see my stomach now, and I'm not going to show it to you, but put your hand on your stomach and put your hand on your chest. Now, I'm going to breathe in using my stomach. Did you, see my, did you see my chest move? No. Practice doing this. Put your hand on your chest and your stomach, and when you breathe in, breathe in with the bottom of your stomach, so you feel, or you look down and see your stomach inflate, and when you breathe out, see your stomach deflate. Keep your hand on your chest, and make sure your chest doesn't move. So practice that. It's called bre belly breathing. Practice your belly breathing. Do it together with the, with the breathe up of in for three seconds, out for six seconds. And when you're in, in the open water, um, normally you do this for around two minutes or double the, the amount of time that you're supposed to breathe up or at least rest after you've dived is at least double your last dive. So if you dived, uh, did a one minute dive, uh, rest for two minutes at least. Um, this double the dive time thing is not, a, not an exact science. Uh, you need to take into consideration uh, how deep you're diving and you know, what you're doing in the water and what is a comfortable uh, recovery time for you. Um, but for me, I would say double your dive time is, is, it's okay for me. Um, you know, if I ever do, recently I've been doing two minute dives. Um, so that would mean around a four minute recovery time on the surface. One minute dive, two minute recovery. Um, obviously now I'm showing you the breathe up in front of the computer and when you've got to do that you're going to be in the ocean, right? So we breathe up using the snorkel. Um, now using the snorkel, um, there's some dead air, the dead air space or whatever they call it, you know, the 
you're not getting completely fresh air at your um, from your that you're breathing in directly through your mouth because going through this pipe and when you breathe out then there's still old air in the snorkel that you breathe in again um, but you've you've got to use your snorkel head down snorkel in the water um, doing the breathe up the exact same when you're floating in the water and you're completely relaxed your arms are relaxed your legs are relaxed and you're breathing with your snorkel that is the best way to do it it's not possible to breathe up with your head above the water because waves are going to go into your mouth um, and also your legs are going to be start kicking by themselves trying to keep your head afloat when your legs are kicking by yourself by, by themselves then you're not completely relaxed when you're floating head first in the water doing your breathe up with a snorkel in your mouth you're going to be in the most relaxed and most calm position to do your breathe up so don't worry about the dead air space uh, in your snorkel in competitions and and things like that you do see guys breathing up without a snorkel generally they're on their back with a pillow behind themselves but the conditions that these guys are doing it in the sea is very flat and very calm and uh, you know most of the time we're not diving in conditions like that so face first uh, in the water looking down at the bottom snorkel in your mouth and do your breathe up like that remember belly breathing with your stomach three three seconds in or six seconds out whatever the right time is amount is for you completely relaxed at least double your dive time and um, practice this and I hope it will uh, increase your your dive time at the bottom okay thanks for watching cheers